Hello, and welcome to our second video in our four-part Medicare Basics series. I'm Chris Duncan, founder here at Trusted Benefits Direct. Today's video will be on Medicare Part B. Now, Medicare Part A can be a little confusing, but Part B is much easier to understand, so let's jump right in. Medicare Part B is called medical insurance. Unlike Part A, which is premium free, Part B has a monthly premium. For most folks in 2021, the standard premium is $148.50 per month. And that's for individuals making less than $88,000 a year. And for those that file taxes jointly making less than $176,000 a year. And the premiums go up to as much as $504.90 per month for high earners. It is also important to note that Medicare looks back two years on your taxes when determining your income. If you are going on Medicare in 2021, Medicare will look at your earnings for 2019 in determining your Part B premiums. I get asked a lot about the Part B late enrollment penalty, and for the sake of time, I have covered this in a different video. So here's a list taken right from the Medicare and You Handbook of what Medicare Part B covers. It helps to cover services from doctors and other healthcare providers, outpatient care, home health care, durable medical equipment like wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, and other equipment. Part B also covers many preventive services like screenings, shots or vaccines, and yearly wellness visits. It's easiest to think that Part B covers our outpatient services, but Part B can also cover us for many procedures we get while an inpatient in the hospital. This can be, but not limited to, MRIs, CAT scans, x-rays, physical therapy, and more. Now, Part B also covers us for things like kidney dialysis and chemotherapy and radiation treatment for cancer. And speaking of cancer, we have a very comprehensive cancer insurance plan, and I have the details in another video. Now, we get asked quite a bit by new Medicare beneficiaries if they need Part B of Medicare. And the answer is, if Medicare is going to be your primary insurance, then yes, it probably is a very good idea to have Part B in Medicare. If you are not sure if you need Part B, on page 19 of the 2021 Medicare and You Handbook, there is an excellent section titled, Should I Get Part B? This is what page 19 looks like, but for time, I won't go into it. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them with you. So when can you sign up for Medicare Part B? First to know is Medicare Part A and B are given to you automatically if you are receiving Social Security. Some individuals choose to take Social Security before they are eligible for Medicare at age 65. If you are receiving payments from Social Security, you will automatically be enrolled in Medicare Part A and Part B, and Social Security will automatically start deducting the appropriate Part B premium from your Social Security benefit. If you are automatically enrolled in Medicare Part B and decide that you don't want it, you can simply fill out the form that comes with your Medicare card and send it back to Medicare. Now, if you are not on Social Security, would like to enroll in Part B, you will need to do that yourself. There are three ways to do this. First, you can call Social Security. Now, you would think you would need to call Medicare, but to enroll in Medicare, you have to contact Social Security. And the phone number for this is 800 772-1213. Second, you can go directly to a Social Security office. And third, and the easiest in my opinion, is to simply enroll online. I have made a website with a tutorial video on how to do this. This video also includes screenshots from Social Security's website that I took when I did a mock enrollment. The website is www.partbnow.com. That's www.partbnow.com. The site also includes a link directly to where you need to go to get to the right Social Security website to sign up. Now, there is an enrollment window to sign up for Part B of Medicare, and the window lasts for seven months. It is three months before your birthday, the month of your birthday, and three months after your birthday. If you miss the enrollment window and don't have a special circumstance like having employer coverage and would like to enroll later, you will likely incur the Part B late enrollment penalty. And like I said before, I have a different video about that. This takes us to our last part of the video. As I always say, Medicare doesn't cover 100% of the bill and Part B is no different. 
We all hear about Medicare and the 20%. This is where the 20% comes in. Part B will pay 80% of Part B Medicare approved claims after the Part B deductible has been met. In 2021, the Part B deductible is $203. Let's talk about the Part B deductible and how it works. First to know, this deductible is once per calendar year. Can't stress that enough, one time a year. Because the deductible is so low, I get asked, Chris, do I pay the first $203 of every Part B claim before the 80% kicks in? And the answer is no. You pay the first $203 of Part B claims. And when you have paid that, then Medicare will pay 80% of the bill and you are responsible for the remaining 20%. Again, the Part B deductible in 2021 is $203 and is once per calendar year. That's pretty affordable in my opinion. Once you have paid the deductible, now Medicare will pay 80% of all Part B claims and you will be responsible to pay the other 20% to the provider. But this is where a Medicare supplement, also called a Medigap plan, you know this if you've been watching some of my other videos that they're called Medicare supplements or Medigap plans, and you can purchase a Medicare supplement plan to cover the other 20% for you so you don't have any of these surprises. And you purchase a Medicare supplement plan from an independent agent like myself. Now that's all I have for today's video. A quick recap. Medicare Part B is called medical insurance. It helps to cover services from doctors and other health care providers, outpatient care, home health care, durable medical equipment like wheelchairs, walkers, hospital beds, and other equipment. Part B also covers many preventative services like screenings, shots or vaccines, and yearly wellness visits. The Part B standard premium is $148.50 per month and goes up from there depending on your income. You will be automatically enrolled if you are on Social Security, and if you're not drawing a Social Security benefit and would like Part B, you will need to enroll yourself. There is a seven month window of initial enrollment for this, and if you enroll outside of this window, you may incur a Part B late enrollment penalty if you don't have a special circumstance like having group employer coverage. Lastly, Part B deductible in 2021 is $203, and that is once per calendar year. Then after that $203 deductible, Medicare will pay 80% of your Part B claim, and you are responsible to pay the remaining 20%. And you can purchase a Medicare supplement plan to pay this 20%. Again, I'm Chris Duncan. If you have any questions about this or anything else Medicare related, I'm here to help. I help with Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, Part D prescription plans, dental vision hearing plans, final expense life insurance, also called burial insurance, protecting retirement savings, and more. If you'd like my help, easy to contact me, 800-910-3382, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.